there seems to be an easing of tension between China and Japan over a territorial dispute in the East China Sea. The disputes over ownership of a string of tiny islands. Both countries claim they own them. Both have sent patrol ships and aircraft near the islands, and there are fears of a confrontation. But last week, a Japanese politician, Natsuo Yamaguchi, leader of the new Komeito Party and a partner in Japan's new coalition government, spent a week in China. The high point was a meeting with the new Communist Party leader, Xi Jinping. Yamaguchi handed over a letter from Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The letter's not been made public, but it is possible both sides will back off their belligerent words and actions. One sticking point, though, is public opinion. Social media in both countries have been inflamed over the months-long dispute, and they were full of comment about Yamaguchi's mission. From China, many posts on Sina Weibo reflected this point of view. Root for China, beat the crap out of Japan. And from Japan, this sentiment predominated. Those islands are ours forever and ever. But some posts were more nuanced. This Japanese tweet said, unless it tries to improve relationships with neighboring countries, I think Japan would be isolated in Asia. This Chinese post said, we and Japanese people both need peace. We both need to develop and survive. Another Chinese said, both sides are simply playing the islands as a trump card. Why should we ordinary people bother so much? He's referring to Japan's floundering economy and China's many social problems, including income inequality, a poor environment, and official corruption. The weekly magazine Sai Jing asked about the symbolism of the ties worn by Yamaguchi and Xi at their photo op. Wrote a professor at Beijing's Tsinghua University, Yamaguchi thought a meeting with Xi, regardless of the results of the talk, was itself a success. His red tie represents celebration, General Secretary Xi's blue tie contains a message of solemnity and composure. There was perhaps another symbolic prop. According to China blogger Bill Bishop, the meeting took place in a room adorned with a large painting of a pass north of Beijing. It's the site of a Chinese victory in a 1933 skirmish that was seen in Japan as a shameful defeat for the Imperial Army. The point of the picture would not have been lost on the Japanese. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.